Hi friends, welcome to Phonics with Miss Nikki, where we learn all about the relationship between speech sounds and letters. We learn about this relationship to be good readers and writers. Here's our phoneme friend for today. His name is Max. Can you say hi, Max? Hi, kids. And Max is a fox. You might already be thinking to yourself, Miss Nikki, I know you're gonna tell us to tell you what the first sound in those words is. But you might be noticing Max and Fox don't start with the same first sound. Where do you hear sounds that are the same? Max and Fox. Oh, you hear them at the end of the word. And actually, we hear two sounds that are the same. Max, that feels a little bit tricky. Let's tap out the sounds in the name Max. Here we go. M -a -k -s Max. How about in the word fox? Fox. Fox. The last two sounds were k and s. That's where those two words are the same. You also hear those two sounds in the word box. Let's tap box. B, a, k, s. Sometimes in a word when the k sound, like as in Katie Koala, and the s sound, like in Sam Snake, sometimes when those two sounds are right next to each other, they are represented by one letter. And that letter is this one, the letter X. The name of the letter is X, and it represents two sounds, the stop sound K and that hissy sound S. So when we see this letter, we have to think K. Make that sound with me, K. K. Good, what's the name of the letter? Okay, take a look. All letters are made of straight and curvy lines. Uppercase X is made of two straight lines. Good, and lowercase X is made of two straight lines. Same thing. So how are they different? Uppercase X is just a little bit taller, or you could say lowercase X is just a little bit shorter. Tell me again, what's the name of this letter? X, and we're working with two sounds today. X, let's see how that works in a word. We have the X sound at the end represented by that letter X. Let's start at the beginning and blend it together. Six, six. So even though we only see one, two, three letters, there's still four sounds in that word. S, I, K, S. That is so interesting. Tell me, six, are you six years old? Are you going to be six? Were you already six? I was already six a long, long time ago. Okay, Mr. Max, the fox, how did we do today? I think we did pretty good. Did you know that foxes are known to be mischievous? Mischievous means maybe a little bit naughty. Maybe they like to play a little bit of tricks. So I think it's fitting that we learned about the two sounds of the letter X today. Great job learning. If it's okay with the adult at your house, give us a thumbs up or hit subscribe so that you can meet all our phoneme friends. See you next time.